So today on NCIX Tech Tips, we're going to be talking about choosing a power supply for your new build. And mostly we're going to be focusing on one particular aspect. Now, from this angle, all three of these power supplies probably look pretty much the same. We have a few different units here. We have the Corsair TX750 watt, we have the Antec CP850, and then we have the Silverstone Strider 1500 watt power supply. But the real difference between these units is actually on the other end how many cables they have sticking out of them. We go from an octopus nest of cables to no, a few cables to actually no cables on a fully modular power supply. So we'll talk a little bit about the differences between these different approaches. So the TX750 watt is our example of an excellent non-modular power supply. So what that means is that every single cable and connector that is designed to be attached to this power supply is designed from the get-go. Your 24 pin, all your PCI Express, all your SATA, all your Molex. Even if you're not using those cables, you're going to have to find something to do with them because they're all attached. Now the advantage of a non-modular power supply is that it is far less expensive to manufacture if the cables are all simply attaching directly to the circuit board inside the power supply rather than having to engineer a modular interface. But the disadvantage that you end up with is that when you install it in a case, and this is just a random case, you end up with a lot of clutter. Very few people actually build a PC with 12 hard drives, for example. So all of the extra cables that you're not using, you're going to have to find somewhere to tuck. And unless you have a really nice, really expensive case with a lot of cable management features, it's always going to be a little bit of a challenge and you'll never end up with a perfectly tidy build. So your next option is like a semi-modular power supply. Now this is considered a modular power supply in terms of marketing speak because you can clearly see here it has a modular interface. But unlike some modular power supplies, it still has many cables attached to it already. So that means you've already got a 24 pin, an 8 pin, a couple PCI Express, some SATA connectors, as well as a couple Molex connectors. Now these are cables that most everyone is going to use if you're hooking it up to a computer anyway. Anyway, so Antec, the manufacturer of the CP850, says, well, why don't we just attach those ones since everyone's going to use them anyway? It helps save a little bit of the cost rather than doing a fully modular interface. And obviously, yeah, that helps you get a better power supply for less money. Now I'm putting the CP850 in a case that it's not exactly designed for. This is a very unique power supply that only fits in a few different cases, the P183, the P193, and the Antec 1200. But it offers an exceptional value for the money. So if you're grabbing one of those cases, you should have a really close look at the CP850. Now you can look at this here, and you can see that if I take all of the cables that are pre-attached to the CP850, it's not nearly as much cable clutter, especially because I'm already going to have to connect most of those cables to something else. And if we were to actually take all of the cables that you can potentially attach to the CP850, you can see we end up with a mess that looks more like our non-modular power supply. Very few people need all those cables though. So the last power supply we're having a look at today is the Silverstone Strider. 1500 watt. This is an extremely high wattage power supply. I mean 1500 watts is pretty much enough that you could take an entire breaker from your house and you could use it for nothing other than to power your computer if you actually manage to max out this unit. Now Silverstone knows that not everybody, in fact most people, are not going to max out this power supply. So they've designed it with a fully modular interface. That means every single cable is not attached to the power supply by default. So What's the advantage of taking that approach? The advantage versus something like Antec's strategy with the CP850 where they attach the necessary cables by default is that you can actually buy cable kits from Silverstone directly that are shorter cables even for all of your essentials. So you can take a high-end premium power supply and you can fit it into a case or do like a tighter, neater cable management job without actually buying a different power supply. So that's a really cool feature. And I mean it's a really good thing that they do not attach all these cables by default. I mean look at this. If you actually like I can fill this case with all of the cables that come with this power supply. Anyway, thank you for checking out my NCIX Tech Tips episode on modular versus non-modular power supplies. And if you've noticed the videos I've had playing in the back, those are Linus Tech Tips unboxing and product showcase videos, which is an alternate channel that I use to do sort of a more casual video. You should check it out, Linus Tech Tips, and thank you for watching.
episode today. The videos that have been playing behind me are Linus Tech Tips, which is kind of uh, an unboxing product showcase auto... Uh, oh, I totally ruined the shot.